Okay, let's unbox the Turnigy AccuCell 6 4 button charger. Comes in a very handsome cardboard box. Oh, sorry, wrong program. Inside the box, there's really just the charger, which is a fairly standard four button unit by the look of it. Has a little protective plastic on the LCD, but it's kind of underneath, so getting it off is going to be a bit of a problem. I'll leave it on for the meantime. Um, as you can see, it's got the normal um, type, um, increment, decrement, and start buttons, all the normal sort of buttons that you get on these things. Supposedly, it charges it up to six amps. We'll see if it does. And unlike the little IMAX B6, it's got a fan in here, but it's been my experience that these fans are incredibly cheap, and after a very short time, they either start making a horrible noise or they just stop altogether. I won't be able to tell that, obviously, in the initial test because I'll only be reviewing it um, after a few hours of operation. So I'll keep an eye on that fan, though, because, as I say, they tend to be a source of trouble. But I have given it a bit of a use, and it has worked, but I'm going to give it the full review treatment. What do you get? You get the charger, you get the lovely box, the decorative box, and you get some leads. What leads do you get? Well, not a lot, actually. You don't have the, the more common multi-way, you know, with all the little different connectors on it. You get a lead with banana plugs to the new Hobby King LiPo type connector. You get a lead with alligator clips to a bayonet connector, which is for the power. So that plugs in here. And then you hook that across your 12 volt source, okay? Very simple. And on the output, you've got your banana leads, which can go here, like so. And then you can either plug your LiPo in there, or you can plug this connector in here, and you've got alligator clips you can put on whatever. I don't recommend this, because if you short these out, the magic smoke will probably come out of your charger and she'll all be over. But once this airplane's flown past, as I say, I will be testing it in full. I do have other leads. Um, and at the price, these are not a bad looking bargain if they work as advertised. So stay tuned for the full review coming up on this. And I'll be reviewing a few other chargers as well alongside. We'll see which is the best value charger on the market today. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the full review.